So in my last tutorial, I went over the new Flex preset pack, which was made by Seamless. And recently he's posted two new plugins that he made inside of Patcher. And if you're looking for more FL Studio and music production tips and tricks, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you are notified every time I make a new video. So this next one is a snare maker. Let's just go ahead and listen to what this sounds like without touching anything. So once again, it's definitely geared more towards EDM just right off the bat. So let's go ahead and try and do some work to make this more urban, trap, hip hop oriented. Let's glance over the sections real quick. We have the fundamental right here, noise one and noise two, metal and a compressor, and then your post volume settings. And all the way to the right, we have reverbs for each section. So let's start with the fundamental. In the fundamental, we have pitch, range, phase, saturation, length, and high pass. When you bring down the pitch, almost sounds like a clap. Sounds more trap right there. Let's go with heavy saturation. High pass. Brings the body back. Leave it somewhere around there. Overall level. I'm gonna leave the reverbs alone. I wanna jump over to this metal section because it's very obvious what it's doing right now and I kinda of wanna turn it down. First, I'm gonna turn on, down these reverbs. We're gonna leave the metal we're gonna leave that as is right there. And then let's mess around with this noise and darken it up a little bit. So we're definitely gonna mess around with this cutoff. Direction is like some sort of phase, but I'm not entirely sure. So just noise too. Turn down the reverb. So yeah, I think that's the best that we're gonna get. I could have guessed that it was gonna be a lot harder to get a trap type of snare out of a synthesized drum like this. However, I do like the idea of using this to layer on top of snares and claps. So right here I have a snare loaded up and we're just gonna go ahead and add every four steps just like here. And we're gonna use this to layer on top of the snare. Let me let you listen to what the snare sounds like just the snare sample by itself. Let's add in our synth. And let's adjust the length of this.
and maybe add some of some of this metal back in. And last but not least, let's mess around with this post knob and increase this high pass here, and I think we'll get it. Yeah, I would say overall, it's definitely a lot easier to make EDM style snares with the snare maker. However, what I am hearing is that this would be great for trap hi-hats. Yeah, I think this works really well for hi-hats and rides. But overall, I'm definitely more of a fan of the kick maker for sure. But they're absolutely free, so go ahead, check them out, download them for yourself, and see what you could come up with. Subscribe, like, comment, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.